eat all the meat off your chicken and then save the skin for last. Hey guys, welcome back to Eat with Justine. And today we have the highly anticipated Jollibee just cause, you know, why not? I was at the Asian store earlier today and there was Jollibee in the parking lot, so I was like, let's just do it. I needed to grab some ingredients because um, I'm making food for this potluck at work and that's too much information. Why am I even going into that? But yeah, I got uh, Jollibee today and I got the family pack, so let's do some ASMR time. Okay, so let's go over my menu real quick. Today I have, I got a family meal because it had the most choices on there and I didn't feel like really talking to the cashier person or like making any decisions on my own. So I just kind of was like, what's the biggest meal that they have and they have the family meal. The family meal includes chicken. I don't know how many is in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's six pieces in here, gravy, um, Filipino spaghetti, and a peach mango pie. So I'll save the peach mango pie for later. I got a family meal because I was like, I could just take some to work the next day. Why not? And Filipino spaghetti, I don't know how to explain. Filipino spaghetti is basically just sweet ass spaghetti. It's just sweet spaghetti. It's like spaghetti made with ketchup and sugar and they put hot dogs in it. I personally really, really like Filipino spaghetti. Mm. Especially once all over my chin. Like so many people make it so many different ways. But to me like you can't really go wrong with Filipino spaghetti. It's always good. So good. And I really, really, really enjoy Jolly Bee's gravy like way too much. Way, way too much. It doesn't, it's not even like. It 
It doesn't taste like your normal gravy. But so, I don't know. Look at my hair. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't taste like regular gravy. It doesn't taste like your regular brown gravy or white gravy. It just tastes like like gravy. Filipino gravy. I don't know. So this weekend is actually going to be a really, really big UFC fight. And for those of you who don't watch UFC, I'll just give you like a super quick brief of what's going on. Move on. Conor McGregor. Mm. Conor McGregor fighting this weekend. And he's fighting Nate Diaz. And they're two really big fucking assholes. Who both like to talk a lot of shit to each other. Both like to talk a lot of shit to each other. <clears throat> And they already fought once, and it was kind of like a mismatch because Connor was supposed to fight someone else, but the guy ended up backing out. I think it was due to an injury, so Nate Diaz took on this fight super last minute. And he... And he wrecked Connor. But there was kind of like excuses because Connor had moved up to a different weight class, and then I don't know, all this kind of shit. So they're gonna have a rematch this weekend. And there's so much shit talking already. I'm so excited to see this fight. Like, McGregor was so fucking cocky his last, the last time he was about to fight Nate. And it was just like overboard. But ever since he lost, I can tell, like, you can tell he's been humbled a little bit. So he's going into this more. Ooh. He's going into this fight not as cocky as he did before and just more intelligent about how he's gonna fight him So good. Hold on. The last time I had Filipino spaghetti was also at Jollibee. But it was just so so long ago. 
Do I get everything? So it's a rare occasion that I'll ever get Filipino spaghetti and when I do it's just like so super good. Ooh. If you guys follow the UFC in the comment section below, let me know who you're rooting for. Is it going to be Connor? Is it going to be Nate? Or not even who you're rooting for, but who do you think is going to win? Because both of them are assholes. Cocky assholes, but... That makes them both not likable, I guess. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that they're not going to have a great fight. And right now, the Vegas odds are pretty much even with McGregor with McGregor and Nate Diaz. So, we'll see. We just have to see this Saturday who's going to win. See this part? This is like the butt. This is the butt. Oh my goodness. I need to pace myself. I'm like in the midst of me trying to rush out a Jolly V. I didn't order a drink or anything. And I have water here at home. Just too lazy to go get it right now. I should get water right now. I'll just wait. I'm so lazy. You guys ever eat all the meat off your chicken and then save the skin for last? It's so good. <clears throat> All right, I think this is gonna be like the last couple of bites because I need to save room for um, the the pie. If you guys like McDonald's apple pie, this is like so much better because it has peach and mango. The texture on the outside is 
<laughs> basically almost the same as McDonald's. Mm. Oh, it's so good. All right, this is the last one for sure. some chicken mm. all right I'm getting really full you guys see this So here is the pie, peach mango pie. That's what it looks like. I like with McDonald's apple pie, but the peach mango in here, I see it so much better. So good. They have another one too. I think it's um banana and jackfruit. I don't like that one that much. Maybe it's like a something purple like ube. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what the other flavor is that they have at Jollibee. This is my favorite one. Yeah, the crust is so good, so flaky and crispy. I had this here maybe for like 20 minutes or so. You know, driving home and then having it here and like the crust is still super crispy. Last bite. That meal was so freaking delicious. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, come back and eat with me again soon, okay?